All right, it's time for Join Us Interactive. My pitch so severe, baby. Yes, yeah. Hello, is it? I added another day to your name. Uh, uh, and what? Another day to uh, your name. Sebe day. day. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to rhyme. You know what I'm saying? And things falling apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? You're right. Good, good. Happy weekend. Yeah. Uh, you know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're drawing news on TV. Now, Izzy, I want to ask you a question. Do you know what this is used <laughs> for? Do you know what this is hold used it, for? Hold no? it, hold it, hold <laughs> no? it. Yeah. Do, do, hold viewers, it. do you know what this is used for? Don't get violent. No, don't get violent. Okay, well, there's a video that's been going around on social media. Yeah. And it's taken over the top 10 trends on Twitter, right? Chaliwate. Chaliwate. Let's watch the video and then we'll talk more about right. it. They actually have time to accept you for every, every trust that you can hold. Every stupid, stupid, stupid thing that you can't wait. And then you say, don't touch me, don't touch me. And then you turn around and then you go to somebody else. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? What is, what is the point of all of this? What was the point? So that video has been trending and seems like so the young lady, it's a boyfriend's young lady, the, the, the young man was cheating and she got very furious. Apparently, the a apparently. is supposed to be cheating. Yes, yes. Do we have confirmation that he Apparently, he's cheating. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, so that has taken over uh, social media. Charlotte is trending, Legon is trending, Lydia Fawson is trending and we'll get to that on the thing. But like, okay. the lady has apologized. Her name is Karen. She's apologized. She's also been trending on Twitter. She's part of the top 10 trends. She was saying, you know what? She apologized. She didn't know that it would get this far. And so let's hear her apology and we'll get some of your comments. It's in a very dark place. happened just yesterday. So I'm like, I'm shocked that it has actually gone this far just in a short time. And to be honest, at that moment, I wasn't really thinking. Like, I was very angry. And the fact that he was. Like, not even showing any remorse, just fueled that anger. But I'm truly sorry for, like, attacking him the way that I did. It wasn't right. Like, no matter what he actually did, like, it wasn't right for me to attack him. Because from the video, you can see that he didn't, like, hit me back or anything. So, yeah, like, I'm really sorry for that. I'm honestly truly sorry. So okay. Karen says she's sorry. Karen says she's sorry. Yeah. But uh, that was assault. That, that she was She could be picked up by the police. But she's sorry. <laughs> she's sorry. Come on. No. no. But it's still assault. But she's sorry. <laughs> and you, can you imagine if the guy had retaliated? I mean, let's not, let's not go there. Why shouldn't we go there? Let's not go there. Like, we understand. But listen, right. She apologized. And for, let me, you know what? I have to say, I understand the young lady. She's a young lady in love who thought the boyfriend was cheating on her and her emotions took over. Let's just, yeah. And so I assaulted the boyfriend. All right, let's go to, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Lydia Fawson has, uh, someone asked Lydia Fawson a question. I uh, tagged Lydia Fawson on Twitter. Let's see if we can get that tweet okay. up on our screens. And they asked her what she thinks of this. We know Lydia Fawson is a staunch feminist. She's for human, uh, women's rights. She believes that, you know, women deserve equal pay, equal rights, yeah. everything. So this is... Okay, that. so then she comes in and, uh, okay, so below that, uh, hi, Lydia Forcing, what is your take on this lady beating a guy with slippers? And then uh, she comes in, this is why you should be careful of the nicknames you give yourself. See how you're here acting like a bola, a bola bed and dating yourself by exposing your ignorance. Are you so stupid? You need me to tell you it's wrong for any human being to hit someone. And, uh, okay, so, so the guy's name is uh, Ayigbe Bola Bed. Yeah. And then media forcing comes in and says, this is why you should be careful of the nicknames you give yourself. See how you're here acting like a baller bed and dirtying yourself by exposing your ignorance. Are you so stupid you need me to tell you it's wrong for any human being to hit someone? All right, so that's Lydia Fawcett, and that also put her on the Twitter trends. But let's go to our Facebook page. A lot of people have been commenting, like you said, oh, if this was the guy who did it, the whole world would have stormed and shouted. But let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying about this. All right, so Smith says, I'll comment later. I'm in the hospital. My cousin brother <laughs> swallowed a singing memory card, and he's singing all songs <laughs> in it. We just pray it doesn't reach video for <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Al Hassan says, since we have no ministry for men and gen gentlemen, 
protection. Let's leave this matter to rest. It's the positions of the guy and the lady. If the positions of the guy and the lady were swapped, ministries and feminists will respond appropriately, I guess. Daniel also says, we are waiting for the human rights groups and other female organizations to come out on this, uh, said, says Della Goldhart. Hope you have, you have watched, you've watched the video. I'm waiting to hear from you. This is a case of feminism. All right, so Matthew Abola says, if this were the other way around, number one, public would insult the guy. Number two would involve Dovsu, the police, the gender ministry, the courts, the feminist community will all come in. And Frimpong Peter Stone says, what type of lady is that cry? Sorry to say that the girl's not nice cry like the lecture girl. All right. And Frimpong once again says, I'll go to court if Minister for Gender didn't do anything about it. And we are all human beings. All right, and uh, Rocky Dawuni. I doubt if it's a Rocky Dawuni, but <laughs> love beatings. There is love, so he's not feeling any pain. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow. Really? Can you imagine? It doesn't work that way. All right, but another thing that uh, took over social media is the communication uh, service tax. Oh, yeah. Yes, a lot of people are talking about it. We'll try and get you those comments right away. I mean, So the Ministry of Communications has come out with a directive and mm -hmm. says, okay, as it is, want you to immediately suspend the upfront, the yes. directions of upfront charges mm -hmm. or application of the CST. And, uh, well, we haven't heard from the telcos, yeah. but the ministry is saying that should stop. Yeah, so, so far, a lot of people on social media are extremely happy. You know, as people, you know, it's very hard when you can see your money being taken away. Yeah, yeah so I'd rather have you di uh, indirectly taxed me. You. But indirectly, me. you're still going to see that your data, you're not going to get as much data, you're going to make as many calls. I know, but don't take it directly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you know how to continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where Joy is on TV. Even the one great thing about it is uh -huh. that they're saying, they're also saying that our bundle should expire. Yes, yes. Yeah. That one is very important yeah. because you yeah. buy a bundle for three days and then like... You know, you know, yeah. yeah. But remember, yeah. don't beat anyone, okay? <laughs> Wear this. This is for your feet, not to beat boys. All right, thank you very much, uh, my pitzel. That's it.